Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. In this uh, um, today, we're in this uh, video. We're going to do chapter ten, verse one. We're starting chapter ten now. Uh, we've completed chapter nine, and this is also a bhakti um, chapter. So the middle six chapters, chapter six to twelve, are related to bhakti. Uh, sorry, seven to twelve, and seven was just amazing for me. I absolutely loved chapter seven so much. Um, eight, I think, went into the technical details of cosmology a little bit, and then nine was just very triggering for me. Um, so let's do chapter ten now. He deepens the bhakti, um, as far as I understood, in this chapter, and uh, so he says, "Now I'm going to tell you something even better." Okay, so let's sing the verse together. Shri Bhagavan Vacha. Bhuya eva mahabaho, Shrinu me paramam vachaha, Yate ham priya manaya, Vakshami heta kam yaya. And what he's saying here is, um, Sri Bhagwan said, the Supreme Personality of God had said, Listen again, O mighty armed Arjun. Mahabaho, big, big uh, arms. <laughs> because you are my f dear friend, for your benefit, I shall speak to you further, giving knowledge that is better than what I've already explained. So here he's saying that I'm going to give you knowledge that's even better. So basically it is more nectarian in here. So here um, um, Prabhupada explains about the six opulences of God, um, that uh, one can be called God, Bhagwan if he has full fame, wealth, knowledge, beauty, re renunciation and strength um, so he's talking about that so and then um, Swami Mukandanan says that um, previous chapter revealed the science of bhakti or loving devotion to God in this chapter Sri Krishna desires to increase his Arjun's bhakti by describing his infinite glories and opulences they're not only pleasing to read but enchanting to hear um, he helps Arjun meditate on God, think about God by reflecting upon his magnificence, by making it sweet and uh, grand uh, for uh, for devotees to understand him, like to meditate upon him, to think about him. Um, I want to read the, he said, Nectarian somewhere. Huh. Arjun is now fully convinced that Sri Krishna is the Supreme Personality and div Divine Personality and requests him to describe further his divine glories which are like divine nectar. And then he says, discloses that everything exists as a manifestation of his energies. He is in the beginning, middle and end of everything. All beings and things get their splendor from him. He is the powerhouse of magnificence and the in infinite reservoir of knowledge, power, beauty and glory. Whatever catches our imagination and infuses us with bliss is nothing but a tiny spark of his opulence. Just reading this paragraph is so sweet, no? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next video. Um, we'll do chapter 10, verse 2 in the next video. Wish you a day filled with lots and lots of spiritual growth. Radhe, radhe.